the rebels because without them, we could not have made yeah. Custer's last stand. <laughs> it is the Alamo St. John's Vila Academy. And we will persevere because all eyes all around the country and all around the world are wondering how a borough of 500,000 stopped the most powerful city and state government in the nation and the federal government. Well, here's one of the people who made that possible. I consider him a fellow rebel, Scott Lebedo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's uh, good to uh, be over the other side of the gangplank here. Um, now, I, uh, you know, Curtis, I, I can't say, I'm not, I, I, there's no words, you all know Curtis. He's the runner of this movement, and he is going to be our next mayor. That's a fact. That is a fact. Now, I'm, uh, those of you who know me know I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not always saying nice, pretty things. I am not here to make friends. I am here to make things right. Because like Curtis Sliwa, for the last 30 some odd years, I have been warning people, using my artwork, using my activism and my words, that this stuff, this garbage that is coming down upon you, the working people, the hard-working people of this once great city that we will get back, okay? You are getting the shit end of the stick really bad. Now here's a tough club. The whole world watches us in Staten Island. Now, if there's anybody who has the brass, who has the, I will not take garbage from anybody like us Staten Islanders, is Bay Ridge. We are exactly the same. Oh yeah, it's nice for 500 people here. That's nice. But it should be 5,000. And it has to be the next time. Yes. My job has always been with tough love, with guilt, to call you out and be in the street peacefully, angrily, loud, loud as F, but peacefully. 250 years ago, we had a revolution. We are in a revolution right now. But here is the difference and the beauty and the sexiness of this revolution is we do not use guns. We do not need a bayonet. We do not need to burn or flip police cars. We use Amendment 1. They watch. That's why we are progressing. I do interviews from all over the world. They want to know what we're doing in Staten Island. I get emails and text messages. I'm in Connecticut. What are you doing? How are you doing it? It's the easiest thing in the world. And here's my advice. And I want you people to share this on your social media. You get a couple of good lawyers. You can't tell me that in this group or in this community you don't have a couple of real patriotic lawyers like we do in Staten Island. Yeah. Mark Fonte and Lou General Amino who saw the people angry. Yeah. The pain. They won a monumental lawsuit. The world is watching. So listen to me. It's very simple. You get a couple of good lawyers. You fight the city, tooth and nail. But more importantly, is the next rally you have here, hopefully within a couple of days. Again, tough love from Uncle Scotty here. Just because you showed up at this rally, don't mean you shouldn't be at the next one. And bring five people. Our founding fathers, they had farms to tend to. And they said, let the crops 
rot. I have a community, a country to save. The food wasn't on the table. The kids starved for a day or two. To fight for the future of not only this country, but their family. So when I hear somebody saying, I had to work, or I had a, a party to go to. I'll, that's bullshit. This is the only way that we stop this. Yes, you vote. But they, they are not used to seeing the working people in the street. advantage of yes more guilt from me our complacency as we all sucked up the milk and honey all of these years not realizing that it was coming and here it is it is the only way that you get in the streets next week you have another one here a bigger one that's how it changes. That's how we're doing in Staten Island. Yeah. 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 Trust me. Keep at it. This is our community. This is our country. We need it back, and we will get it back. Keep out in the street. Prep. Wow. Now, oh, no. now, 
If you know, I'll to write down, as many of you should. Great father, I remember his father, boy, that handlebar mustache. His Michigan uh, mother who runs up and down the streets telling me I shouldn't call Mario Faccia Bruta Cuomo. But she's a good woman. She loves this neighborhood. You go up to them and say, hey, please, your son has the skill level to represent us. We don't have money. We're hard-working, blue-collar, working-class people. Please, him, Joe Tacopina, it's time. Do a little pro bono work. You get paid a lot of money by a lot of heavy hitters out there. Save your neighborhood. Just like the lawyers, Lou Gelamino and Mark Bunty are doing in Staten Island. That's number one. Number two, it just opened up a no-tell motel. Hotel right there at 7th Avenue and 86th, right? Right. Why, why do you think they just opened up now? Why? Figure it out. Follow the money. As Eric Adams has always lived to that battle cry. Follow the money. Show me the money. Follow the money. That hotel exists for one reason. It ain't because it's packed. It's not the love motel every night. That's right. One hour in, one hour out. Nope. It's there to make money on the illegal aliens. That's right. I'm doing the deep dive tomorrow with my wife Nancy again. She'll get all the details. It's probably an LLC. That's how they hide who they are. Those fiends. You go inside. Obviously, the owner-operator is probably not there. You leave little notes for the clerk. Don't intimidate him. I don't want you uh, getting locked up like I always get locked up. <laughs> There'll come a time when we'll call for acts of civil disobedience here. Now, this is not the time. You go into that hotel. You let them know no illegal aliens in this community. None. We know why you're open. Don't tell us there's a, a huge demand. You know, tourism is, is suddenly, it's exploding that people want to take the R train. By the way, the worst stinking subway ride in the city. All the way to 86 to walk over to 7th Avenue. You know why it's there, right? Make sure it never opens up for illegal aliens. Make sure the clerks, the people who work there, the owners will find out. I will find out. Nancy will find out who the hidden owners are. And if we got to sue, because there are nine lawyers for every one citizen and they practice their martial art all day of I sue, that's a target because they purposely set up to make money on the taxpayers by bringing illegal aliens into Bay Ridge. That ain't happening. So I'm just giving you three locations. And let's see if Justin Brennan wants to continue to call me a comic book villain who's a serial liar. Sure Road, 77, right by the ball fields near the public bathrooms. 86 and 7, that new motel, hotel, whatever they call it. And obviously the grounds in between the Veterans Hospital, Port Hamilton, the high school, and Polly Prep, which is going to have a tent. The war begins today. Now, we've had a lot of testosterone here today. A lot of testosterone. I don't know who has more testosterone. Me, Scott Lebedo, Paul Rodriguez, Harry Kagan. Oh, my God. A lot of testosterone. I think it's our last speaker should be a little estrogen, don't you think? <laughs> Because guys do all the talking, but I'll tell you, each and every night in Staten Island, keeping the illegals out are the mothers and the grandmothers. Yes. They are vigilant. Yeah. They have not abandoned ship. Nope. Without the women, this movement could not exist. Let's give a great round of applause to all those women who right now are surrounding those migrant centers to keep the illegal aliens out. And remember, do not, under any circumstance, harm a hair on any migrant's head. Exactly. Exactly. They are just political pawns. Yes. Imagine.
imagine if you were in a third world country where you don't even have a toilet. You don't even have running water. And all of a sudden, on Telemundo or Univision, you saw this guy, this bald-headed, earring-wearing mayor in a $5,000 suit, all silk, no cotton, inviting you to come to New York City. Imagine you're sitting in your hovel, and Cardinal Dolan, on behalf of Catholic Charities, is telling you, come on, we got the money. It ain't the church's money, it's the federal tax dollars. We'll bring you to New York. And imagine you're in a hovel watching the schmuck, the putz, Chuck E. Cheese, Schumer, saying that the reason they have to bring in all the illegal aliens is you actually followed the guidelines of Planned Parenthood and you use marital contraception and you didn't have enough kids. So now we need worker bees. It's your fault. Nonsense. That's over.